Welcome to the next short and sweet video tutorial for My Memory Suite digital scrapbooking software. This is Lisa, and I host the Facebook page and blog for My Memories. In this series of short and sweet video tutorials, we'll cover one topic at a time until you know all the tricks and tips that you need to know about your software. In this video, I'm going to cover how to use the text options to wrap text around your photos, and in other videos, I'll cover diff different topics and techniques until you uh, feel really comfortable with everything that you need to know about your software. If you need more help getting started, please review some of the other videos that are available on our YouTube channel, or you can refer to the uh, FAQ, which is located on our website at www.mymemories.com. If you need information that you can't find, please feel free to email me directly at lisaj at mymemories.com. Today's technique will be pretty quick and easy, but it's a great addition to any page where you want to include some journaling or perhaps a date or location description on the page without really calling attention to it. It's also a great way to add detail to the layout where there isn't a lot of space for journaling. First of all, uh, what we're going to need to do is open a page where you want to try this technique. Now to get started, I would suggest just a simple shape or a large photo just until you get the hang of it, and then you can incorporate it in some different ways, which I'll show you some examples of a little bit later. Um, for this page, I have just added a large square photo, which you can do from the Photos panel. You can drag them from your uh, Photos folder on the left-hand side resource gallery or a number of options. If you need some help with that, uh, there are other videos that cover how to uh, size and shape your pictures, but we're going to jump right ahead to the text option. On the right hand side in the control panel, I'm going to head, go ahead and click the text panel which will pop open the place where I'll need to add the initial text box to get started. So I'm going to click add text and that will just pop open a simple uh, text box for me here. You can see that you can double click it to add text or you can just start right when you add it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it on the default font for now because I'm going to show you some things that you can do later. Um, all you need to do now is just type the information that you're going to want to include in the text box. I'll show you some ways to make sure that you have the right size and shape um, a little bit later, but we'll first just get some information in there. Um, let's just put this was a fun afternoon in the back yard, and we enjoy hanging, whoops, hanging out together. Summer is a fun time. Okay, just basic whatever you want to include. Then I'm going to enlarge the text box so it is larger than the size and shape of the picture that I have. Now you'll see here that it's still just a small little piece that's added to my page, but we're going to make some changes to it that will show you exactly how to get it to wrap around your picture. Over here on the uh, text option panel, you'll notice that there's a shape button. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and this will give me the option of an outside circle, inside circle, outside square, or inside square. Uh, for this one, I'm going to choose an outside square, which just helps define which direction that the text will be facing. You can see the difference just by clicking on the different ones. Okay, see how the text is facing inward, whereas if I had chosen outside square, the text just faces out. So I happen to like the inside, uh, excuse me, the outside a little bit better, so that's what I'm going to choose. Now, you'll see that there are two things that you can do here to continue to wrap this around the uh, photo. Now, obviously, you could type more text, or by changing the size of your font, you can go ahead and get it to uh, wrap more around the picture. So depending on how much information you want to include, just keep sizing the font up until you have enough to wrap as much around the picture as you'd like. Okay, we're almost there, so I'm going to go one more. Okay, so this is a pretty good size and shape for this particular picture. Now the one thing you might have to do is just play around with the sizing of it a little bit. Say if it breaks in the middle of a word uh, like that, you may want to go ahead and just adjust it a little bit um, until you get it uh, sized and shaped the way you want. And by enlarging the text box or changing the size of the font or even changing the font that you choose will give you a very different look. So now we've fixed where the in and the, uh, the word the are uh, appropriately broken in half, but we still have where it, uh, it breaks out around the corner down here. So sometimes you just need to, uh, to fix it up just a little bit to get it to wrap the way you want. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it breaks in the middle of a word, depending on the font that you choose. Sometimes it can give you a cool look as well. Now, um, you'll notice here that there's a little bit of space, but not really enough to include a, a much larger uh, 
font size. So what's a good idea is uh, go ahead and uh, you can always choose a, a little embellishment to take the extra space or something like that. So don't don't hesitate to uh, to play around with some different things to get uh, the spacing right. But sometimes it makes it look fun if you're just um, adding a, a nice little touch to the uh, to the picture. So um, again, with as with all the text options, you have the uh, color change. What's nice is using these match and change options, you can actually match any of the information or color that's on your page. If you need more help with all of those color choices, there's a, uh, a tutorial specifically about color matching that will be available very soon. So those are some things that you can do to include some journaling without really making it a specific journaling box element. Um, the same thing can be done, uh, let's just copy and paste this so we don't have to start from scratch. We're going to copy and paste the text box over to this new picture that I have um, that will, um, there we go, I'm going to copy and paste that. And then you'll see that it's very easy to take the same uh, text box and then do the uh, circle feature so that you have it where it'll easily wrap around a round picture. And again the same sort of thing is you need to change the size of the font or the um, the size of the journaling to get everything to fit in there so that you can see um, that it wraps nicely around the picture. Now this is just a very easy technique um, with a little bit of practice it is uh, very easy to master. You can also do with um, oval pictures just um, and also by you know with rectangular pictures just by using the uh, same shape tools and then just put them in and out of uh, circular or um, oval shape or rectangular shape just by dragging the edges and that type of thing so sometimes it takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it but I think basically you can see how it works and now you'll see that it's a little bit more of an oval than a circle and again I think we need to just make some adjustments to the size of our font to get it to uh, wrap but with just a couple of little tweaks you really can get it to look very much like an oval which will wrap nicely around an oval shaped picture um, sometimes it takes a couple of little tweaks to get it just right but it's really easy once you get the hang of it again you can do the same thing with a rectangular picture um, also remember that you can add mats and shadows to your pictures and all of that kind of thing to give your page a little bit more pop and also remember that you can include it on top of frames and that type of thing to uh, to really incorporate the journaling as part of the design without having to be a separate feature. So uh, that's a fun way to uh, to create that. Now one thing I will mention is that when you are on the shape feature the shadow function doesn't work but a quick work around that is to just copy and paste your text box and then just change one of them to the color that uh, that you'd like and then you can create the layered look which will give you a little bit of that shadow feature. So just create a second um, text box. Just copy and paste once you get it right so you don't have to try and match them up afterwards. And then just you can use the uh, keyboard arrows to adjust it until you get the look that you want and you can create the shadow in any color that you want. So the bottom copy will act as your shadow and the top copy will act as your color depending on how you want to work it. It's really kind of cool to do that with just black and white sometimes just to uh, get that uh, to look right. Um, again you can do that with pre-designed pages. I'm going to uh, paste that on there. Um, we're going to go ahead and change that back to a circle. And then just, um, I'm going to make it much smaller so it wraps around and then just size it in to get it to uh, to wrap right around the circle. So depending on what you want to include, it's very easy to add it um, to a pre-existing design and then say even if you changed it to white, you can get it to stand out a little bit more um, or match one of the colors that are in your layout. Like if I wanted to uh, pop it with uh, this burgundy color that's in the layout already. It's very easy to do that. So that's a fun way to add journaling. I'm going to show you just a couple of other examples of uh, where you can include it. Like this particular frame option has uh, a very nice edge so you could include it on top of there. Um, here's another sample that I did where I made a couple of other extra frames and then did a layered look. So you can certainly do that too. This technique is very easy to do just by adding the same photo again to your page and in the photos tab use the uh, shape button and that little picture frame uh, shape to uh, to create that secondary uh, frame around your page. Also um, remember that it's very easy to use partial circles like if you wanted to just wrap a little bit of text around oops, excuse me, 
wrap a little bit of text around um, and center on just part of this this photo is not going to be exactly the best match but it's it's an easy way to include just a little bit of uh, part of the circle around there so it's it's easy if you wanted to just use a piece of the circular text box to wrap around just part of the element. So I hope that gives you some information about some fun new things that you can do. Remember that you can use it um, in a number of different ways as a square, as a circle, as an oval, as a rectangle, as an addition to a frame, as a, a part of a, a pre-done layout, because this is just a quick page that I've used this technique on, or some of those clustered embellishments that are available in the shop. This is very easy to add any of that kind of information just to get a shape around something that's already on your page. Again, if you need more help getting started with some of the other basic techniques, please review some of the other videos on our YouTube channel. If you need more help or information, visit our Facebook page, um, which is listed under My Memories Fans, or visit our website at www.mymemories.com. If you ever have any questions that you can't find the answers to, please don't hesitate to send me an email directly at lisaj at mymemories.com. So we'll wrap this one up to keep it short and sweet, and uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and we'll move on to the next tutorial very shortly. Thanks for your time and attention. I appreciate that you've taken a little bit of time to share with us. Um, please check out our Facebook page on Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. We have a fun little speed scrap, and we always have a lot of fun challenges available on our blog and on the uh, Facebook page during the week. So have a great day, and I will see you on Facebook. Don't forget to make a memory today.